welcome to the max class the concept which you are going to learn today is rational numbers so what exactly is a rational numbers any idea okay let's uh, i can, i will be saying it is a, a number system it is one of the number system in mathematics what are other number systems you are much aware of about and which you have learned in the previous classes yes we have learned about the the basic number system is natural number system and then you came across the whole numbers and then integers and then you have learned fractions now we are going to know about the rational numbers so i will be asking few questions in the next slide just look into that so numbers yeah what is correct numbers will be everywhere so we use the numbers in day to day life like in very different scenarios for example first day of the week if seat in the car i have five seats car or one liter of milk one full ticket neighbors so what exactly are saying yes we are discussing about the concept called as natural numbers we all know these numbers represent in the number line yes we know about number line In number line will be numbers like one, two, three, four, and so on. So these all numbers can be represented in the number line, and we are dealing with the natural numbers over here. So let us see some more examples. So half liter of milk, a three fourth of the milk will be asking in the shop. Otherwise, in the bus traveling, we'll be talking about half ticket in the traveling. So otherwise, we'll be wearing three fourth as a casual pants when now we we are getting relaxed in our lives. So, ah, uh, in what we are will be representing this one? Yes, these all are the representation of a rational numbers. So, what exactly is the definition of a rational number, student? So, a number which can be written in the form of p by q, where P and Q are integers, and Q not equal to zero is called as a rational number. Sir, so you may have some doubts in your mind. Sir, so the same type of formula I used to learn before, and you said it as a fractions. Now you are saying it as a rational number. You said that the definition of a fraction is nothing but it is a part of a whole, and it is represented in the form of a by b. Now the same thing you are saying that it is in the form of p by q. And you are saying it as a rational number, but the same concept. Why you are giving two different names? This kind of doubt may strike in your mind. So let's come. Uh, let's go back to the fractions once. What exactly is the definition of a fraction? It is nothing but a part of a whole. I'll be giving you one example. For example, you think that you went to pizza uh, or Domino's. And you order the pizza of eight slices, and you eat three slices of pizza of that. What is the fraction you are eating? Yes, it is three by eight. Now we'll be taking one more example. You, one more friend will be saying, your friend will be saying that I also thought of going to pizza, and I thought of eating a large pizza of five slices from that. But unfortunately, I didn't have it because of works, uh, some other work. So now, if what will be the fraction of your friend? So if you say it is minus five by eight, it is completely wrong. Why? Because he didn't add add his pizza, add his pizza. So yes, the fractions cannot be negative. So we are having a barrier that fractions are limited only for the positive things. For negative, we are not having negative fractions. To overcome this, we have introduced new number system called the rational number system. We have introduced the new number system called the rational number system. So, we are having many examples on this rational numbers. it's very quite obvious 
if you ask what is the status of your assignment, what you'll be seeing. Yes, sir, sir I have completed only 50%, sir, I have completed 30%. Sir, last two problems for completing it. So 50% we will be converting over here, will be converting it as one by two. So if I conduct an examination for you out of 30 in the chapter by six, how many marks you'll be getting? That one also will be represented in the form of a rational number. If you get 30 out of 30, so we'll be writing 30 in the numerator and 30 in the denominator. If you get 25 marks, we'll be representing it as 25 by 30. That is also a uh, representation of a rational number. I hope students, you understood the concept of rational numbers. We'll meet in the next video.